Hi everybody, it's your old pal Yam Juice. Today I've got a commentary for you on Halo 2 Classic, and I'd like to talk about the subject of Sprint. <clears throat> Recently, it was pointed out that Sprint was considered, uh, possibly, to have been in Halo 2 back in the day. And this has been picked up as uh, many people saying that if Sprint had been in Halo 2, then people to this day would not have a problem with Sprint and there are some people that argue that that is not the case. In fact, Faven, that new Halo commentator who's catching on like uh, House of Fire, uh, just put out a video and he was saying that uh, his position hasn't changed one bit. He thinks that if Halo 2 had had Sprint, then not only would people not have accepted Sprint, but he thinks that Halo 2 wouldn't have been as, as successful as a game as it did go on to become. So this is basically a response video to Faven's video about Sprint. When Halo 2 came out, uh, online multiplayer was, was barely even a thing. There were uh, computer games that featured that, but as far as consoles, that was a pretty new thing. Now here are some general facts about the gaming scene as it pertained to first-person shooters and multiplayer back in the year 2004. This was before Xbox Live or the PlayStation Network. There had been a couple of games uh, like GoldenEye, which was big, but uh, and Battlefield 1942, which is big, but a lot of these games uh, that were first-person shooters, multiplayer, were on the PC. There wasn't much going on until Halo came out. The first Call of Duty that involved multiplayer first-person shooters was 2005. It was late in 2005, and that wasn't until the 360. So, Star Wars Battlefront also late 2005 on the 360 in the PlayStation. So, pretty much Halo had the monopoly on console gaming first-person shooters multiplayer. So I, I contend that whatever that they had decided to make, as long as it was anything remotely close to what we got, would have been wildly successful because of the, the siren song of shooting motherfuckers in the head. So the you ability can't to play you know, against you can't strangers overestimate how important that to was. To pit your skills to up against how other people's of a, skills uh, draw that was. was a new thing. Halo was the first first-person shooter that allowed you to do that. And I contend that the inherent attraction of that ability to go online any time of the day or night and play against total strangers and, uh, and have your shot at, at, at stomping them and proving how good you are uh, is just too great of too great of an attraction I don't think Sprint would have mattered one bit I don't think it would have affected it positively or negatively I think Halo 2 would have been a smash hit any way you slice it if it had had uh, if it had had Sprint people wouldn't have even paid attention to that they would have just focused on the fact that they're that they're poning noobs or that you know if you're one of the noobs you're you're struggling to try and gain your skill set until you too can go on and then pwn noobs so i think that uh, uh the situation was halo had a monopoly <clears throat> at that time when the call of duty that year came out it was a pc version it uh they never had any competition in the uh, online multiplayer first person shooter space uh, until later on. So by the time Halo 2 had already become a beloved uh, juggernaut that it did become, it was already it was already well established. And only after other games started coming out that did feature Sprint did the uh, the people who played Halo 2 and Halo 3 without Sprint and began to defend the fact that it didn't have Sprint and they would criticize other games that did and anybody who suggested that Halo had Sprint should have Sprint, they would attack. 
And I think that they would possibly have been singing a different story if Halo 2 had had Sprint. If it had had Sprint, everybody would just be playing Halo. They wouldn't be noticing so much the Sprint. They're just paying attention to shooting other motherfuckers in the face. That's what the whole game was about. Uh, as far as like the meta game, it would have been different if it had had Sprint, but people would have adapted to whatever the meta game was with Sprint. It wouldn't have mattered. That's my opinion. Now, I enjoy uh, I enjoy Halo for the gunfights. That's my uh, that's my thing that I dig. And as far as whether or not Sprint is in the game, I don't think it has a drastic amount of effect on it either way. I think the people who like Halo would still like Halo whether it had Sprint or not. And it doesn't really, you know, it, it seems like moot. It's like Sprint is not going away. This is 2015, going on 2016. And Sprint is here to stay. Not only is Sprint here, but they're like, they're trying to make hyper Sprint, like uh, wall running and and boosting and just like movement is is the way it's going in the future and it's like god knows what kind of uh, schemes that game developers will come up with in the in the future but uh going back to no sprint is not going to happen you're just not going to see it so if you like halo and you want to continue playing halo then you're going to get used to playing halo with sprint if you don't want to play it then fine nobody's holding a gun to your head you know you can uh, you can find some other game that you can play you know maybe cooking mama would be more your speed <laughs> i don't know is is there even is there any game out there that you could play a first person shooter that doesn't have sprint that's on console i i'm not thinking of anything right now and, and there's nothing that's big nothing that has a big community so uh good luck so I think, you know, if you don't like Sprint, well, you know, you can either suck it up and just play the Halo that does have Sprint, or you can just, uh, you know, not play it. You know, one option you've got is, of course, to just bitch and moan and cry that it doesn't have Sprint and play it anyway. <laughs> I think a lot of people are going to take that option. But, you know, does that mean that we need to pay attention to you? I think maybe not. You know, if you'd like to continue your bitching and moaning, then that's fine. Uh, but, you know, you do have to realize that it's not going to make anything change. Sprint is in Halo. It's going to stay in Halo. And moving forward, various iterations of Halo will feature Sprint in different ways. Other advanced movement will come into play. You know, I suggest that you uh, get good at uh, stomping and shoulder charging if you want to be a good Halo player, because that is uh, that's where the new meta is at. You'll have to learn to to use it defensively uh, when you're in gunfights. Sure, it's get out of jail free card. Well, you can get out of jail free, and your opponent can too. So you maybe will have a little bit of a different meta, but the fact is there will still be a meta and if you want to get good you will learn that meta so yeah faven if you would like i have a podcast along with my partner flex where we uh we talk to people in the gaming world and we've had plenty of halo youtubers on and if you'd like to talk about your ideas we would love to have you as a guest consider yourself invited and that's pretty much all i have to say <laughs>